Hi, I'm Darko Ivanovic from the Badger Crew. Uh, we are uh, uh, practically a venture uh, that has been created in uh, Phoenix, but originated in Montenegro. Uh, I am an ASU alumni. Uh, I have uh, came to ASU, uh, specifically uh, Waldo Cronkite School of uh, Mass Communication and Journalism in 2015, and there uh, where I met uh, my mentor and professor Sarita Hill and the part of the Badger Crew, uh, Victor and Curtis. Uh, so this is idea that uh, came in Mont uh, came about in Montenegro, but uh, landed practically in Phoenix. And as we created an LLC over there, uh, we are dealing uh, with the wearable technologies. Uh, this is a, a wearable product that does not speak to but about the user. It's a combination of a badge and a social network messaging device, an open display that allows you to express, impress, and dress. We have started with the notion that uh, displays are an integral part of our lives. We are surrounded by them. They are primary means uh, of access to any form of information. Whether we're talking, we are talking about still images, video, or text, the screens of mobile devices that we use today are focused on the user and communicate communicate intimately with him according to the principle of private screens. We're carefully guarding our displays um, against prying eyes. Uh, but we are yet to be offered with screens that communicate in reverse logic on the principle of public display from the user to the people in their surroundings. No portable screen has been offered that allows you to share uh, with the environment all that you create, a feel or affiliated with the, the one that we want to expose to the offline world as we often do to the online uh, world. So. Uh, uh, these are the four problems practically that uh, we want to uh, solve and these are the solutions. Uh, I am uh, pinpointing uh, the PAS concept, uh, the personal advertising solution, which means that uh, for the first time, uh, large companies uh, will have you as a tool uh, for the marketing and you will uh, earn money uh, on your online uh, uh, and offline activities. So uh, no more uh, money. Uh, Giving to uh, being given to uh, being given to um, uh, Twitter or uh, Facebook, uh, but you will earn from your activities uh, as much as they earn from you at this moment. Uh, so we are unifying the pin badge and the digital communication device. This is our market validation. As you can see, the growth rate is incredible uh, in the US, Australia, and EU. In just a couple of months, it is uh, uh, practically 3% uh, bigger uh, per percentage of population as concerned uh, of uh, in the wearable field. Uh, so in the United States, uh, we have a growth rate up until 2019, uh, practically by 10%. Uh, worldwide shipments in millions uh, are, as you can see, uh, uh, three times bigger up until 2020 uh, in all the fields that other smart devices, smartwatches, and basic wearables, which we belong to. Uh, so our compound annual growth rate uh, in highly conservative scenario, you see the numbers, uh, is 51%. Uh, uh, and in um, optimistic scenario is almost 70%. And these are all millions of dollars. Uh, so our market size is 83.1 million. That is millennials, according to uh, Census Bureau. That is uh, age uh, 19 to 35. Uh, these are uh, uh, people in uh, X, Y, and Z uh, uh, generations. Uh, we tend to uh, differentiate in the market flooded with variables with the public display that gives information to the environment uh, about the user, whether uh, it's a message, photo, or animation. Um, uh, our poll 400 potential users shows that 72% of them are familiar with wearable concept, uh, technology concept, and 36 would buy a badge or a button as a wearable device. So uh, these are uh, this is our uh, product hardware. I'm not a techie, so I cannot further explain, but we have techies in our team. Uh, this is our product design. So uh, we tend to be portable online social window to an offline world. Uh, it's uh, the badger is your hard on sleeve. This is it, its design. Uh, we use this reverse logic to communicate. We bring, and I uh, uh, cannot stress this enough, physical interaction to social media. Uh, this is our market adoption. Uh, practically, uh, this uh, allows us to attend uh, in three uh, different uh, industries, fashion, conference, and other events. Uh, no more standing in line in conference. Uh, it is sparing your time. Um, practically, uh, no more uh, uh, 
bulky name tags you will have everything about you uh, on your uh, sleeve um, and everything uh, that you uh, will send to the public will be uh, on your device that you will receive uh, um, in the hotel together with your room key and everything about you will be uh, co collected from the database of the hotel so you attend the conference without these long lines of waiting you will attend classes uh, and you will go into the class and immediately receive uh, your uh, uh, grade uh, that from the exam that you uh, sent to the professor last night uh, and you will have it on your uh, badge uh, together with the color of your group, uh, with your name and the results of your tests. So uh, these are all industries, uh, fashion industry. I cannot stress enough that uh, millennials today, they want to use uh, these devices to express themselves and create multiple uh, uh, designs and uh, uh, badges that show their affiliation towards Star Wars or uh, uh, any kind of uh, sports team, ASU, go Sun Devils. So this is our gross margin uh, business model, uh, usage fees and download fees. As you can see, uh, $80, $80 per unit sold. Uh, uh, we tend to um, uh, accumulate uh, $149 is uh, uh, our uh, cost of our device, we tend to uh, take 10% of all the contracts from the uh, companies to the end users uh, and their advertising PAS solutions. And the downloading fees are 49 uh, cents per downloaded item from our marketplace. So this is our competitive advantages. We will be first to the market. Uh, our business, is mo um, business model is attractive and simple. Uh, we have a great design and uh, four industries practically combined. This is the team. Uh, first three of us, uh, are, we are uh, or alumni or uh, uh, ASU graduate. Uh, we have uh, embedded systems engineers in Italy, and uh, the rest of the crew is Montenegrin. And uh, we're uh, practically combining uh, creativity and the design uh, front and back end developers. So this is our timeline. It started in 2014, and January 2017 will be the start of our uh, crowd funding campaign uh, five thousand dollars will be used uh, to develop a minimum viable product uh, to incorporate with the new team members uh, with their specific knowledges and to pay uh, for the patent and uh, legal fees uh, uh, so practically uh, this is the badger crew this is a wearable device that has been created in asu uh, and landed in arizona founded in arizona thank you for listening and uh, thank you for choosing us